Hey, what's up guys? Sash here. Um, just want a quick shout out to uh, Kev's Matrix, Processed Meat Man, Johnny Matthew, good mate of mine from the Tron, awesome cosplayer. Check out his, uh, his cosplays, he's on Facebook, YouTube. Um, yeah, thank you to any uh, new subscribers over the last few weeks. Uh, I had a few people, yeah, subscribing. So, um, you know, I've probably doubled my numbers from like 30, <laughs> 30-ish um, subscribers to, you know, close to 80. I don't know what that means, but thank you. Um, and yeah, thanks for, uh, basically motivating me to, uh, to make some more content for my channel. So that's awesome. Um, today we are going to do a repos video, a repos video I haven't actually done. Um, I don't know why, because I repose my figures all the time. Uh, here's a quick flyby of my 1-6 scale figures. Um, I will be doing repos videos a lot more, I think, because um, it's fun. Hey, and I'm fickle and I get bored easily, so I repose my figures probably at least um, once a fortnight. Quick apology for... <laughs> For this, um, this guy, I am working on a 78 poses video for Superman. Um, I did say coming soon on the video. It uh, is coming a lot later than I anticipated, mainly because of this little guy, Mr. Two Months Old, who is keeping us very busy, um, as they do, first child, so... <clears throat> Hashtag kill me now. No, no, he's, he's a beautiful, cute uh, little man, and we love him to pieces. But um, yeah, he's been keeping us very busy. So, uh, back to Daredevil. Uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly go over the pose that we've got him in today and uh, talk a little bit about that, and then we'll think about what we can do to uh, switch it up. Okay, so. With the power of lamp lighting. I think I might try and get a, uh, a red lamp. A red bulb for that one. Because uh, I think that would be, be badass. But here we go. Alright. Here's, here's my lighting setup. Boom. For all your vigilante needs. So here we go. This pose here. Pretty cash. Just kneeling. Um, one of the things I love about this figure is just the feet articulation allows for much more lifelike poses um, and much more opportunities for the feet for kicks for standing kneeling um, you okay buddy sorry someone's someone's having a little dream there um, so here we go he's, uh, he's holding one billy club there the other one is sheathed one hand just sort of casually resting on the thigh there, and there he is, overlooking the city. So not bad. Uh, I will be giving details on how to get uh, dioramas like this one. There's a dude called Steve Weber. Uh, I have a video on that one that goes into detail and gives you some cool angles. Alright, let's see what we can do with this guy. Okay, so here's what we're working with in terms of accessories. Uh, I'll just quickly go over everything. Here's his official crotch stand. Uh, that's a little sort of diorama piece. Some broken glass and a bit of, kind of broken wall there. Uh, he's got his various hands. A couple of fists, another holding hand for a billy club. And kind of a articulated throwing kind of hand there uh, he's got his kind of short billy club staff he's got his nunchuck version of his billy clubs there 
And there's also some kind of wire variations that I created myself just with some thin wire. So I'm thinking at this point, maybe. Oh, and the uh, kind of battle damaged faceplate there, which I'm probably going to use because it makes them look uh, quite different. So at this stage, I'm thinking probably mm, nunchucks. Nunchucks with battle damage. Let's do this. Okay, so we've changed the faceplate. Uh, apologies for all the background noise. So there's the same pose. Same pose, but looking suitably pissed off and badass and a bit bruised and bloodied. Okay, let's work on uh, the rest of that body and get him into some kind of awesome standing pose. Okay, so we've got him standing. Um, this is not the finished pose, obviously. It's, uh, it's not great. I'm just sort of getting a feel for uh, how I want him to stand. So, hmm. Oh. Yeah. I think the nunchucks could be the way to go, but, uh, but we'll see. He's got a long ways to go yet. The main thing with the feet, even though there is articulation in those ankles, um, you do have to be careful. You have to make sure that, if, particularly if you're not using a crotch stand or a dynamic stand, and you want him to just be standing there on his own, it can take a while. Uh, because, you know, you have to make sure that he's completely stable. Any little knock, and he's going to be gone. He's going to be off. Uh, just falling, and not in a good way. Not in the swan dive, beautifully, cinematically, in slow motion, off the gargoyle statue, but just, like, knocked off by any little shudder or, you know, <laughs> a truck going by or anything. So we've got to make sure that he is stable. All right, let's keep going. All right, so I've just put the nunchucks in his hand. I've swapped out this hand here to hold the other nunchuck. And I've taken out the billy club. Obviously, he can't have three billy clubs because that just wouldn't be right. Um, so we'll see if we can straighten up those nunchucks and get him into a more badass pose. Okay, so this is where we're at. Uh, the issue I'm having at the moment is just trying to keep the line of the nunchuck toit and taut. Uh, it's, oh, sorry about the finger, it's tricky because there's really not enough tension um, for the pose that I want, which is to have his, um, to have his knuckles out, knuckles out, so facing us, palms facing him, uh, which is a much stronger stance. So it's not as strong right now as I want it. Um, I may be trying a little trick and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so what I basically did was I cheated and uh, used a pre-made wire that um, is deliberately, <laughs> I deliberately made for poses like this where it's completely uh, taut and the wire is Straight, well, straight enough uh, for poses like that. So, yep, I cheated. Kind of had to. Um, it's a shame. It would be nice to use the actual um, nunchucks, but that's okay. You can use them for other poses. So, there we have it. I'm reasonably happy with that one. 